Ruvina Khader. I work at the Capital Maharaj Organization Limited. Hi, I'm Azra Rialdi. I work as a private secretary at the Ministry of Telecommunication, Foreign Employment and Sports. I've been there since I left school. It's been a long time, but it's worth the experience because it's a wonderful place for anyone to work there. I'm also the Vice President and the Chairperson of the Sri Lanka Secretaries Association, which is also affiliated to the Asia-Pacific Secretaries Congress. And I'm also attached to the Association for Secretaries in Sri Lanka. Um, so I would also like to invite a lot of men to take up the secretary profession because uh, the profession has really taken a different dimension now. What does secretaryship mean to you? Uh, it means the keeper of secret because uh, secretary in shortened form is secret, S-E-C-R-E-T-R-Y. So we keep all our bosses secrets. That's, what it, that's the utmost thing, but beyond that, it's all the other duties that fall up along with it. For me, the secretaryship word means uh, it's basically being a shadow boss because you act on behalf of the boss when it comes to your organizational matters, um, coupled up with a lot of duties and responsibilities uh, that we handle on a day-to-day -day basis. What do you think makes a good secretary? Uh, well, lots of things that makes us good secretaries. Uh, basics are communication skills, prioritizing your work, and, uh, you know, being there when the boss wants you. That's the most important things, I think. For me, uh, I feel you should be a great team player, a, a self-motivated, um, because every day is not going to be the same. So uh, being self-motivated is quite key. Um, yeah. What steps do you take to protect confidential information? Oh, that's a tough question, <laughs> really. But uh, see, confidential information, I think it's only privy to the boss and me. So we should be able to, you know, put it into places like even on the computer into various folders where no one has access and, you know, have passwords or whatever. But uh, that's what it is, you know, so that no one else has access to the confidential information. That's what I think. Um, mine, I think, um, I'm not supposed to say this, but I think most of the confidential information is on the phone. So, I mean, people are free to kidnap me, but not the phone, because <laughs> that has all the information. So I think uh, uh, you need to be, it ha every, every document has to be password protected. And um, even on laptops, it has to be on separate folders, password protected. And more, I, what I feel is it's better to have it on a hard drive than having it on a computer with all the controversy As also going around these days um, with all this uh, recorded uh, material. Yeah. So I think it's always good to have it uh, password protected and maybe on hard disk. What is a typical day like for you? Uh, typical day, okay, when you wake up, you have to do your household chores and get to work. And, you know, seeing, making it easy for your boss, that's my typical day, you see. Getting all his burdens off so that, you know, he gets into meetings and whatever, and then I take over all, you know. That's my typical day. Making it actually easy for your boss. Um, for me, I can unfortunately never plan a day, even though I get out of the house saying, okay, today I have these calls to be done. But once I get to work, it's something completely different. So um, it's basically for me, I had learned a lot of uh, out, out of my profession. It was trying to uh, adapt to uh, crucial situations as such. So I start work at about 8.30. So it goes on and on and on. And you know, um, meetings after meetings to uh, handling events to you know being there at press cons. Um, so it's, it's quite hectic, but uh, somehow uh, I manage it through uh, quite successfully at the end of the day. Have you ever taken a road in a company that hasn't fit into your long-term career plan? Actually, no. I haven't taken any role because I've always been in this same field. So uh, I'm sorry, but it would have been interesting, yes, if I had a role, you know, how I could take it up. But no, actually, I haven't taken a role in that sense.
Um, I actually had the opportunity to handle um, sort of like uh, events uh, for the company, so that way uh, I was exposed uh, to more um, sort of uh, more than what I was doing on my day-to-day -day routine job. So that was quite interesting. I had the opportunity of meeting a lot of people, networking. So that was a great learning experience, and I think I have a long way to go in terms of my career. And that was something that I always cherish having the opportunity to try out something new. How do you handle stress? Stress is the biggest b <laughs> killer, I guess, nowadays. But uh, I think you should keep telling yourself, you know, stay calm, whatever it is, you know, like just you just your previous question was how do you handle a large workload. So that kind of thing is also very stressful. But, uh, you know, you should not let let stress take the better of you here you see so you should always stay calm i mean it's easy to say it but you should always keep telling yourself you know keep calm keep calm you can do it you know so that's how i i, I get on with stress you see it's tough but i do it somehow <laughs> uh, for me when i when i reach a point that i cannot handle it at work i just get off my workstation and just put a small walk <laughs> and talk to my colleagues and come back i think at least it calms you down for a few seconds and then you get on with uh, the rest of your work to what do you attribute your success? Uh, success is like everyone knows, it's not an a easy way to the top of the ladder. It's all hard work. So uh, it's hard work, hard work and hard work. That's all I can say. Because uh, you have to be very persevering in what you want to do. Uh, so to reach to whatever goal you are, maybe you know you don't know what's in store for us. But still, it's hard work. Nothing comes easy. So that's what I can say, it's hard work. Um, success to me um, is you need to understand um, what exactly you need in life. Um, that's the key uh, factor to understand uh, what uh, road you want to take in, in, in your career. So understanding that first and then uh, paving the path to achieve your goal. And uh, it, it's, it's not an easy task, so you need to have years and years of uh, dedication, commitment and hard work. So I'm sure one day uh, all of us uh, could reach the ladder of success. From the Cube. What was the most important part of your whole journey? Well, I cannot say one important part, but uh, there have been a lot of failures, so I think failures have made me stronger. So there is no one important part that I can tell you. So you see, it's the failures that make you stronger and make you go higher up. So uh, as far as the association is concerned or the, my profession, uh, it's the same. So there's no one successful story that I can tell you like most of us. So, uh, it's all within you, how you take up each challenge and you know, uh, be successful at the end of it. Um, for me, I would say um, I had the uh, privilege of uh, winning the Secretary of the Year contest which was conducted by our Secretary's Association in 2014. And uh, th at that time I was not part of the membership so it was something really new. I was very young at that point. So it w I was really thrilled uh, to win that prestigious award among so many seniors who were there. So that's actually the time when I, you know, took very seriously that I, this was the career path that I wanted to take in my life. And uh, to date, I don't regret my decision. I feel um, I have done the right thing and it has uh, been a very wonderful journey so far, which uh, also gave me an opportunity to, uh, you know, sit at the executive committee uh, for the last three years. So that's something that I really ch cherish up to now. And thank you, uh, SLAPS the opportunity provided. What made you choose this profession? Oh, <laughs> good question. My mom was a secretary. So as you know, siblings, you know, we all have this thing, you know, I want to be that this. So I thought I will be a secretary. But no, that was not my main target because I wanted to be a lawyer, really. But somewhere down the line, with my A-level results not reaching not enough to enter uni, so I chose this profession and I'm in this and I'm glad I did because this is a wonderful journey I have come so far you see I ended up at I was the president twice in this association so I'm really happy for this profession that I chose um, like I said in my previous um, question 
um, it was basically winning that uh, Secretary of the Year award and that actually gave me an opportunity to uh, network with a lot of senior secretaries who are in the current corporate scenario. So that was a really a motivational factor for me, you know, seeing um, a ladies who are very successful in terms of their career. So that was a really energy booster for me and I thought, dang, I'm at the right, uh, you know, right path. So that was my main uh, motivational factor of uh, selecting this profession and I'm really happy that I did. Where do you see yourself in the future? I would say resting, relaxing, <laughs> because I want to retire soon. <laughs> Myself, uh, I would say, yeah, maybe in another f five or whatever years I would like to retire and do something what I like to do. Uh, that's what I want to do because that's exactly because I think at the end of it you need to set some time for yourself and your family. So that's what I want to do and do what I like. Um, with me, um, I would rather want to see myself as an entrepreneur. Um, in, in days to come because um, I feel maybe in another 10 years or so um, I would have gathered uh, quite a decent amount of uh, knowledge and experience. So at that time I would rather than working for someone I would like to do something on my own and uh, yeah take it uh, from there. What is the Sri Lanka Association of Administrative and Professional Secretaries and how does it impact the development of secretaryship in Sri Lanka? Well, the Association of Secretaries in Sri Lanka, that is SLAAPS, was founded in 1978. Uh, it's 42 years in existence as at now. And it has helped a whole lot of secretaries. We have groomed uh, stenographers, secretaries, over the years, our founder is Mr. late Mr. Eric B. M. De Silva. He had the vision to form such an association, and uh, thanks to him, who who uh, passed away in 2004, uh, we have this association, and we continue to uh, do the best what we can for the secretaries in this country, whether it's uh, be it banking, public, private sectors. We have all kinds of secretaries uh, as members in our association. So actually our association it creates a platform for all these uh, secretaries, stenographers, all of them to meet at our various events held uh, you know, so many times during the year. So that's how we have done and we are the only registered association also in Sri Lanka for secretaries. Um, the association has been in existence for over 40 years and I think SLAPS is the only registered uh, and recognized body in Sri Lanka. So we have produced a number of uh, qualified secretaries over the past and we do a lot of training for them. You know, every year we do have a sequence of events which covers, you know, CSR activities to uh, seminars to training programs, scholarships so uh, scholarships to students. So there's a lot that we do to our profession. It's not that mm -hmm. we just come learn, you know, when, when, when you talk about associations, people think it's just a matter of coming and networking, you know, having a dinner or having mm -hmm. some fun. But I think SLAPS in that sense has done a lot, quite mm -hmm. a lot of work. And uh, we were even recently recognized by the UAE ambassador for the outstanding contribution done uh, towards the community. So um, I think we have done a lot in terms of uh, you know education. We also every year in April, the last week of April, we do celebrate the Administrative Professionals Week. So that's where we award scholarships uh, to deserving students. So we have been doing this for the last 40 years, and that's a uh, hundred percent scholarship where you know we monitor them and it's the scholarship is given at ladies college one of the leading institutes in uh, sri lanka so um, i think uh, we i'm really proud to say that uh, slaps has not just been sitting as a networking platform but has actually gone into depth and done something really valuable to the community and the profession if you had one piece of advice to someone just starting off what would it be well, I would tell if, if that someone is a school leaver and just starting out and chose this profession as a secretary, uh, I would first make sure, tell her to make sure that her English language skills are up to date because that is the most important factor in being a secretary and uh, tell her where and what to get it done, you know, brush up her knowledge and of course then where to go and get her knowledge uh, sharpened on other activities, other areas that uh, a secretary requires. Uh, so that's my advice, that is if she chose this profession, uh, she, I mean that, that it's a good profession uh, and it, there, she can go a long way provided you know you have the right skills, mainly you know to get the right skills, yeah. 
um, I would say take it because it's a wonderful profession to uh, be at and um, you, as you, if you are a student who had just passed out from your A-levels, um, make sure um, that you uh, go and get the proper qualifications in place. You need to have the right skill set, you need to make sure that your communication skills are up to date because um, being a secretary, the number one um, aspect of being a successful secretary is to make sure that your language skills are perfect. So you need to work hard on having your language as well as your writing skills um, polished. So take it, don't fear, it's, it's a wonderful profession to be at. Um, so yeah, good luck and uh, I, I think people should persuade this career um, yeah. as because um, I think I myself is a good example because I started off uh, when I was 19 years and now being uh, 32 I have come a long way and I'm quite glad uh, with how things have turned around so it's, it's a good profession to be at. Hi. Well done. Well done. <laughs> well done. What do you know of each other as secretaries? Let me take myself talking about Azra. Uh, she, at her young age, I must say she's an excellent product and really a good example for the future secretaries. She has all the qualities that, in my opinion, because I'm quite senior than her, she has all the qualities that is required to be a secretary. So I, of course, think she's a great example for any future and budding secretary. Um, for me, um, I would say, like I said at my previous segment also, it was looking at uh, the seniors. So I would say my biggest, uh, I would say, motivator of taking this profession, one of them was uh, Ruina. Because, uh, like I said, when I won the award, I still remember she was the first person to uh, come up to me and uh, wish me and, you know, uh, congratulate me for uh, winning this award. So uh, I think that's a very rare quality uh, of uh, people nowadays. And she was really humble, you know, sitting in that being a past president and sitting at the board of advisors. So I was really happy and very humbled uh, by her kind gesture. What advice would you tell the other? Uh, well, advisors, uh, at spur of the moment, see whatever problem or anything, we advise each other and likewise to the rest of the committee. So uh, there is no specific, whatever areas that matters, advice is always for the betterment of uh, the, uh, herself or the association or where, whatever we work in. For me, I would happily say I like to be at the receiving end because uh, <laughs> with my age, I think there's a lot for me to le learn from uh, people as, such as Ruina and you know several other past presidents that we have had over the you know past. So um, I am very open to criticism, even though you know as a human sometimes, even though it hurts you, it, it does, it has to hurt you. But I think it's all part and partial of life, and uh, you should have the attitude. I mean, you should have uh, the attitude of also uh, being. I mean, being open to uh, take uh, solid criticism because mm -hmm. it will actually take you a long way. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. What first impression did you have of each other? <laughs> first impression. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great. I, uh, like she said, she took part in the Secretary of the Year contest, uh, I think about four or five, five years, years ago. Uh, and uh, with all the different segments of uh, the interviews and the paper writing, she was right at the top. And I really thought at that moment, she is a future president of SLAPS, you see, <laughs> because I think she had all what it takes to be there. Of course, she was young, she has a long way to go, but I thought she was a future product. So that's what I thought of her. My first impression, I was, even though I, I really, you know, liked Ruina, I was dead scared of her. Because <laughs> what I heard was that, you know, people say, oh my God, you should never go and, you know, uh, sort of uh, tap the, you know, I mean, switch on the right, wrong button with her. Because uh, she takes things, you know, she, she's somebody who is very prim and proper with what she does. I think that's, that's one quality that I really like about her. Because even though no matter, how much we are fond of each other when it comes to you know association matters she has always when, whenever i have done something which is not in line you know with uh, you know the association work frame she has always advised me no matter how much sometimes i feel she might be fond of me she had said no this is not how we do it so this is how you have to do it so i think that's a great quality and i really admire that about her what do you think of each other's career 
I think uh, Azra has a long way in the sense like she has uh, so like she's in the government sector right now and I think she might change fields because she has a lot of potential in in handling events and that's how I have seen her in the few events that we've done in the past years so I think she has a great uh, future in uh, her career, whatever she chooses, because she's very methodical. Like I said at the early, earlier interview, she's you know she has a, she she can reach the top in whatever she chooses. Um, I think uh, this is not sugar coating again, but I think uh, Ruvina is somebody we all have looked up to at the association. For me, I don't know. There are four or five um, past presidents that I think have been sort of really perfect, and I think Ruvina is one of them. So uh, she has told me how um, difficult it was when she was, I think she was, she was first president when she was in her early 20s. So at that time, now getting onto a flight and you know, traveling is just nothing. I mean, everyone can do it. But I remember Ruina telling me back in the day, this was like, I don't know how long ago when she was in her early 20s, she had the courage to get onto a flight and go and register at, S at the Asia Pacific Secretary's yes. um, Congress. And that's how we got our affiliation. So I think that's a great thing. Now, nowadays, like I said, it's just nothing for us to get on a flight. But at that time, you know, back in the day, it was a big deal. And um, I think I really look up to her. I thank her as a member and as the chairperson. Thank her for going all the way and getting that done for us. And today we all um, celebrate being part of this entire journey is for uh, what Ruina has done and I think each and every one of us uh, of SLAPS should be thankful for that. Thank you. What do you think about this program? I think it's a very impromptu, a very, uh, um, what shall I say, not a very, like, it's very, uh, what's the word, anyway, very easy, like, you know, not very serious. I like the program. I never knew that there was a program called The Cubicle until Saranga spoke to me and you know <laughs> said all this but I like the program and the guys who are handling with us today here are all very friendly so thank you guys lovely program um, I had seen quite a few of interviews online posted by a few of my friends and also your you know head of channel so I think it's doing quite well and uh, this is something I feel is also important because People like us, since we are not part of the limelight, it's very difficult to get, you know, uh, an, a platform to come speak about the profession. So I think it's a great opportunity, a great program. Keep doing what you're doing, and uh, we, there's a wonderful producer behind the cam. So uh, good luck and to your team as well. Mm -hmm. So uh, keep doing this. Please uh, try and give uh, more opportunities for uh, professionals to come and speak about the profession because I think it would be a great uh, platform. Yes.